Welcome at ForexYesTrading.com. Today we have February 27th. It's Monday. And right now it's almost an hour after European opening. That makes uh, 3 a.m. 38 minutes after 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's take a look at the charts. And right now we are looking at Euro Dollar and Pound Dollar daily charts two main currencies and right now we see here a kind of ABC wave which is telling us mostly about the first and the second impulse wave uh, but of course right now at both of those um, charts we can't see any sellers any significant sellers coming in at the market so it looks like mostly for 60 70 percent the market will turn up again and start to grow well those uh, two currencies are a little different right now because here we got mostly a growing trend uptrend and here we got some consolidation after market was trying to push down with those sellers uh, this kind of market uh, but it wasn't interesting because we didn't see any uh, real breakout here uh, so market turn up again uh, with the euro dollar currency pair and right now it's showing us that it is testing some support resistance and might be moving upwards again so probability of another uptrend movement is much more bigger than going down right now that's the first important thing we can learn at this and other charts if you can see this kind of behavior so right now it is just some taking profit from this uptrend movement and here the same we have a beautiful green wave and right now some buyers are, are closing their contracts which is making this uh, opposite direction uh, behavior uh, taking profit behavior that's what I'm calling it if we take a look at 30 minute charts of those currencies you can see what I'm talking talking about uh, we have kind of flag here what will be happening if the market starts to accelerate here in a downtrend? Well, first of all, at 4-hour chart, we got an uptrend. And from my definition, my perspective, which I'm telling mostly about at uh, the free videos at the forexistrading.com. And uh, we are talking mostly about those kind of behaviors at Forex online courses and soon-to-be uh, video courses. Um, and this kind of behavior is in a 4-hour chart uptrend and 30 minute chart uptrend and only some kind of smaller or the smallest trend at 30 minute chart is in downtrend right now so most likely if this kind of behavior is accelerating uh, it will be turning up aggressively and coming to an uptrend with the 4 hour chart so it is not really worth to enter the market even if it's showing that it is very interesting but you never know at which point it will be turning up again uh, cleaning those stop losses and those uh, sellers short position in the market because it is still uh, an uptrend at this kind of point and um, we see the same kind of behavior at 30 minute chart which is showing us both of the currencies are in bigger uh, uptrend right now so uh, most likely both of these uh, are not supposed to be traded with short positions if you are uh, gonna take like 30 50 or 100 points it is most likely you will have to enter the long position or wait for some other moments for the sellers to come in at the market or maybe something will change at those support resistance that will show us that the market will start to grow and fall down again even though it will be happening might be happening nah, the market isn't really moving vertically uh, like market growing up and falling down again to the end so it is most likely market will be doing some kind of different behaviors so uh, it could be interesting if you're talking about the long position if all go uh, all things will go um, good way uh, right now we're looking at S&P 500 which is moving in a new fresh new comfortable zone it is moving comfortably here um, moving without any sellers so uh, the wave is continuing we might see another static movement to the upside or we might see some more dynamic with the buyers coming in at the market but right now it is showing the uh, economic u.s economic which is um, also giving some light or shadow to the uh, world economic is moving upwards uh, so um, we have a big correlation big movements in oil for example 
you can see here a daily chart after this huge dome at the market and the smaller dome here um, saucer uh, we can see market moving moving aggressively higher making some tests and moving higher again I was talking about in many video analysis and many uh, Forex online courses that we might moving in this comfortable zone very fast and it might be reaching $130 and even $200 um, in few months so uh, that's what we seen from this perspective of this uh, bigger flag this this kind of movement is showing us that the sellers are uh, finishing direction at the market at the and there are more and more buyers here and there so uh, it is very obvious that the buyers came into the market that's what we are studying at forexistrading.com why is it happening and which is the best place to use the market to enter the position right now at s and 500 it isn't really something special uh, we might want to wait for some aggressive more aggressive price action movements and then we might consider entering the market because right now it's it's not maybe hectic but I'm not sure if the market's gonna move uh, higher and higher from this perspective so we might wait a little bit to see what will be happening like uh, right now at oil gold situation uh, you see at gold we have a beautiful flag which was moving aggressively higher from some point I've marked the place when you could enter the market if you were an aggressive buyer here at this level uh, and the market moved higher and right now it is testing support resistance we'll see if the market's gonna uh, move strongly higher or gonna fall down uh, and uh, close this position and right now you see the market is testing this uh, support support resistance level and it is very interesting because very much time if you can see like weak sellers from here right now it is looking like oh it's gonna fall down but many times uh, the market will um, go higher with the trend from this kind of perspective even though it doesn't look really um, optimistic that market will uh, follow with another buyers at the market well that's what I wanted to mention uh, from this uh, gold uh, commodity uh, perspective right now so we will be uh, watching carefully uh, I see you most likely next week with another video analysis or it might be sooner or I'll be showing some uh, trade examples or trading review showing interesting situation when to enter the market we see um, that S&P 500 is uh, moving like other instruments very uh, interesting recently so I'm very curious if the market is going to move higher and higher and make some new highs uh, so it might be interesting to enter the market long term medium term uh, in opposite way that we are doing some actions at currencies like short term and mostly short and medium term uh, so thank you very much for listening for being with us at forexistrading.com i wish you a great trades and obviously a beautiful week of uh, trading i forgot to mention that at uh, forex calendar today we have at a uh, u.s zone pending home sales so this is information uh, that might be very interesting uh, today and that's pretty much it from a monday perspective we might some we might have some important uh, calendar uh, news coming out in the following days uh, during the week uh, but for now uh, that's only at uh, this one indicator so thank you very much for listening again i wish you a beautiful uh, week of trades and that's pretty much it for now uh, thank you uh, best wishes in following next month of march